All right, guys. Here's an update on the blower China motor repower project. Um, so I got the brackets welded on. I test fit it. It all works. Uh, running into a little bit of a muffler clearance issue, so I'm going to extend my muffler up a little bit and uh, go from there. But um. It came out okay. The welds on my bracket aren't my best welds by far, but um, it's kind of hard to get the uh, MIG torch head in there uh, just because there's a lot of limited space. It'd probably be easier with a uh, with a stick welder to do this, uh, just again because there's no room. Uh, I could disassemble the unit and I could probably get better welds, but. Honestly, you know, as long as they hold, I don't really care what they look like. And they are, they do get good penetration. But, yeah, they don't, don't look so great. <laughs> so, you know, what can you do? I got this in primer. I'm going to throw a coat of paint on it. I figure I might as well because I never want to take this engine off again. It's kind of a pain to line everything up. Um, just because the way that these blowers are designed... You can't, um, let's see if I can get some light in there. Well, if you, I'm not sure if you guys can see in there, but the fan blades are in there now, and since this opening is smaller, you can't just slide the fan on. You have to put it in there, then you have to line the motor up with the keyway, and then tighten the fan on as you pull the motor in, and then seat it on its perches. So it's really kind of a pain uh, to do, and I don't really want to have to redo it. Um, also, the bolts I had to use, I used uh, 3 8 uh, which fit really tight in the Honda motor. 3 8 and I uh, used fine thread because they hold tighter. You could use coarse, it doesn't really matter. But the, uh, they're grade 5s, but um, I needed inch and a quarter to get them to bolt through the motor plate and through these angle brackets. Unfortunately, inch and a quarter, when they fall down, they don't come all the way out of the brackets before hitting the bottom. Uh, not a big problem, but it just makes putting the motor on and off kind of a real pain. So again, I don't want to have to do this uh, ever again. Some of the parts I got to help make this work. Here's that adapter sleeve I was talking about. Inside diameter is 3 quarters of an inch. OD, outside diameter, is 1 inch. Uh, it's got a slot in it. And here we go, 3 inch shaft, fits right on there. Now to make the key work, you need one of these. This is a step key. The smaller portion is uh, 3 sixteenths, and the bigger part of the key is quarter inch. And this is a special grind key. If you look, you can see that the 3 quarter, I mean the uh, quarter inch part is a lot bigger than the 3 sixteenths part. And that's also it's proportional, so you can uh, get the correct step out of that. So you need this special key if you're going to do this. I'm going to coat everything in a heavy coating of anti-seize. I like to use the copper anti-seize um, because if I do ever have to take this apart, I don't want it to be hard to, to take apart. <sighs> what else? Um, the muffler. As I said before, I'm modifying that. Um, it hit the shroud right here. So I cut it off in half and I'm just going to weld a piece of pipe and extend it so it sits up higher. Not a big deal. And then the last modification that I'm going to do to this motor is I'm adding this right here. Uh, this is all a 1 8 pipe thread. And I got a short piece there, a 90, and then a about a, a 2 inch. I probably could have gone longer on, the, on this part and then a cap. And what I'm doing with this is I'm going to bolt it right here where the drain goes and angle it down towards the front. And that will allow me to drain the oil very easily and not make a mess. Um, anybody that's familiar with these Hondas or the new overhead valve Briggs, or even some of the older Briggs, you know that the drain holes they usually put right on the machine deck. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Uh, in this old deck you can see where the holes, the drain holes are. They've got a big one right there and you got a big one right there. And the problem with that is every time you drain the oil, you know, oil, it um, 
it's not a capillary bond, I forget what it's called, but you know, it stays together and it kind of moves together and as you drain it, you'll get some that'll spill up towards the front of the machine that gets all over the engine plate, it just, it makes a mess, it never drains good. Also, you, you can't get a pan under there either, you have to lift the machine up to drain the oil, which is just kind of stupid. I think they should have put those on to begin with. So it's a modification I like to do on these. And um, yeah, so get some paint on that. Uh, weld up the muffler extension. Uh, bolt the motor on for the final time and should be ready to put this thing back to work. Um, I guess part three I'll have a running video. I'm hoping to get it all together tomorrow night after work um, and go from there. So yep, that's the Giant Vac. Uh, repower part two. Again, we're using a 212 uh, cc seven horsepower Predator Honda clone motor. Um, if you guys hold on a second, I can put you next to this one over here. Alright, there's the side-by-side, -side, guys. Here we have a Honda. Uh, what is that? 6.5. So this is actually supposedly the same engine, although the Honda does look a little beefier. Um, and you can see the tank. Very similar dimensions. Um, the shroud. Again. Very, very similar. You know, you got all the same controls over here. Is there on off switch pressure switch for the oil on on pressure switch for the oil so you know they are what they are they're copied after a good motor so that should be good um, I'm guessing this is some kind of vent or drain to or uh, some kind of vent or something to do with the EPA uh, emissions regulations or something like that for small engines uh... this is a brand new motor this is an old motor so it doesn't have that um, but yeah that's that's pretty much it so i'll uh... hopefully have a video of this running tomorrow Take it easy.